Hello students, this is Mrs. Pagan. I um, wanted to read this Geographer's World. This is chapter one, section one. This is a guided reading assignment that we're going to complete. If you notice it's in Kami, you will be opening this in Kami. There are um, activities for you to do along with the reading. So let's get started. Geographer's World, section one, main ideas. Number one, geography is a study of the world, its people, and the landscapes they create. Number two, geographers look at the world in many different ways. Number three, maps and other tools help geographers study the planet. Key terms and places. Geography, the study of the world, its people, and the landscapes they create. Landscape, that's the human and physical features that make a place unique. Social science, a field that studies people and the relationships among them. Region, a part of the world with one or more common features distinguishing or setting it apart from surrounding areas. Map, a flat drawing that shows part of Earth's surface. Globe, a spherical model of the entire planet. Section summary, what is geography? For every place on earth, you can ask questions to learn about it. What does the land look like? What is the weather like? What are the people's lives like? Asking questions like these is how you study geography. Geography is a study of the world, its people, and the landscapes they create. Geographers, that is people who study geography, ask questions about how the world works. For example, they may ask why a place gets tornadoes. To find the answers, they gather data by observing and measuring. In this way, geography is like a science. Geography can be also like a science, social science. Social science studies people and how they relate to each other. This information cannot be measured in the same way. To study people, geographers may visit places and talk to the people about their lives. Now, if you notice, there is a box over here, and I have left a comment for you. It says, underline the sentence that states how geography is like a science. So use the tool bar over here. Use the tools to underline. Use this drawing tool, and you just make a line, and you can underline when you have this assignment. Continuing on. Looking at the world. Geographers must look carefully at the world around them. Depending on what they want to learn, they look at the world at different levels. Geographers may study the, at the local level, such as a city or a town. They may ask why people live there, what work they do, and how they travel. They can help a town or city plan improvements. Geographers may also study at the regional level. A region is an area with common features. A region may be big or small. Its features make it different from the areas around it. The features may be physical, such as mountains, or human, such as the language people speak. Sometimes geographers study at the global level. They study how people interact all over the world. Geographers can help us learn how people's actions affect other people and places. For example, they may ask how one region influences other regions. Okay. Be sure to follow the instruction that is in this box. You're going to circle the three levels that geographers study. So this way you can use the shape tool to draw a circle. The geographers tools. Geographers need tools to do their work. Often they use maps and globes. A map is a flat drawing that shows Earth's surface. A globe is a spherical or round model of the whole planet. Maps and globes both show what Earth looks like. Because a globe is round, it can show the Earth as it really is. To show the round Earth on a flat map, some details have to change. For example, a place's shape may have to change a little. But maps have benefits. They're easier to work with. They can also show small areas, such as cities, better. Geographers also use other tools, such as satellite images, computers, notebooks, and tape recorders. Okay, so you're going to use a text box 
tool to create a text box here and answer the question in the box. When what ways are maps and globes similar? Then follow the instruction in this box. You're going to use the drawing tool to have a make a line to underline the two sentences that tell the benefits of using maps. Okay. Challenge activity. Critical thinking, solving problems. Pick a foreign country you would like to study. You want to develop the most complete picture possible of this place and its people. Make a list of questions to ask and tools you would use to find the answers. Okay. There's a, you can use the text box tool and draw a text box here in this blank space and type your answer to this challenge activity. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on here to the directions for the quiz. Uh, on the lines provided before each statement, write a T if it's true and an F if the statement is false. If the statement is false, then you're going to write the correct term on the line after each sentence that makes the sentence a true statement. So here you're going to use a text box tool to complete the quiz. You're going to use a text box tool right here to write your answer in this blank. So let's do the first one together. A globe is a flat drawing of Earth's surface. That is false. So here we would put false in this blank. And then over here we would write what is it that would make this statement true. What would make this statement true is the word map. So here you would make a text box and make the word map. Put the word map here. Okay. So you'll follow these instructions and complete to the end of the page.